You know, communication is an essential aspect of preparedness, enabling us to stay connected and informed during challenging times, whether it's a natural disaster, a power outage, or any other emergency situation. Having reliable communication equipment can make a difference. And remember, communications doesn't need to be two ways. So today, we're taking a look at this ATS-25 Max Decoder new radio that is an upgrade from the previous version. Let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So you guys may have remembered a couple of months ago, I did a review, or actually last year sometime, I did a review on the original ATS-25 radio. A uh, great little radio. I'm still using it in my, uh, my little ham shack out here. Nice little radio, but it doesn't do as much as this one. This is the new updated version. This, they call it a max decoder because it will decode certain ham digital modes. And we're going to demo all that in a second here. I'm going to put it on a real antenna, and we're going to take it and uh, demo it. It has different displays. You've got a waterfall here. It reads the RDS data from FM uh, broadcasts. It does a whole lot of stuff. So this has worked very, very well and kind of exceeded my expectations because the firmware on this has been upgraded to a point where it's actually a lot more functional than the original version. What shocked me, even in this horrible solar storm that we're having currently, is I've been able to pull in some stations and some sounds from around the world just using this little telescopic antenna. I am going to back up a bit to kind of show you the whole radio. Let me back up the camera a tiny little bit here. Whoops, wrong way. There we go. So you get the idea. It's a very small radio. You see the size of my hand. You know, it's not huge. And I think for somebody who's looking for a quality shortwave that maybe they want to use as a prepper to be able to receive AM, FM, and all that, and shortwave radio, ham broadcasts, all that stuff, this is actually a pretty good deal. And this has so many features in it. So we're going to walk you through the, uh, the um, bands and the modes on it in a few minutes. But I wanted to explain to you all the things this does. Now, this does have a Type-C charging interface. You met a maximum of 1.5 amp current, so you can charge this. It has an internal battery. The nice part about this is this has Wi-Fi. You'll notice it has two antennas. You'll notice this little green thing here going up and down. I don't know if you can see it. Let's zoom back in again so you can see it. There's a little green icon going up and down there by the battery percentage. That is Wi-Fi. You'll connect this to Wi-Fi so that you can use some of the functions on this. This will do um, FT8. It will decode FT8 in the screen down here and it needs to have the exact UTC time to do that. Otherwise it won't work. Another neat feature of that is when new firmware is released you can update it via the radio via Wi-Fi. So definitely a lot of cool features. So let's zoom in a little more and let's uh, kind of show you the modes and everything it does. And then we'll take it over to the bench and we'll actually try and receive some signals. So quickly, I'm going to walk you through this, uh, the front of this radio. Right now we are in AM mode. And like I've explained in the past, no AM gets out here. And we'll try an AM reception test with the longer antenna once we get it over on the bench. But I wanted to show you all the different different functions on here. You have auto gain control, volume, a mute, your attenuator. You can take that down or up however you want. Okay. Your modes are over here, so you can do AM, FM, USB, digital, CW. Has a sync upper and a sync lower. I'm not sure what that does yet, honestly. I haven't really messed with it, so I'm not sure on that one. Um, you do have a waterfall display here, however. There's really nothing going on. Let me turn up the volume a little. Really nothing going on, but it does have a waterfall display and you'll be able to see any, anything going on there. As you can tell, there's absolutely nothing going on, so I'm going to put it on mute for now. So let's go to the next here, your bandwidth function over here. This will open or close your bandwidth, however big or wide you want it. We're sticking with 3.0. Uh, your frequency, direct frequency mode, you can enter, let's say, 770 AM. You click OK. Whoop. Let me go back here. 70 a.m. and you click OK. And there we go. So this 778 a.m. I hit the 8 instead of the 0. Um, if you go in through here, your step, you can choose how you want to do your steps, whether you want to do it 1 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, whatever. Uh, your ham option here, you can choose what ham band you want to uh, listen to. Let's try 40 meters. I know there's nothing on there, but we'll try it. Let me turn off the mute so you can actually see the waterfall working. And you can see there's just static coming in right now because it's just on this little antenna, so it's not going to do much. All right, let's mute it again. Uh, let's go into modes. 
We did that already. In the digital mode, okay, you can do FT4, FT8, PSK, uh, Ridi, and oh gosh, what is this, Hellscriber? I forget. It's a cool mode. I forget the correct name for it. The Ridi uh, upper and lower sideband. So let's go back to, well, let's do FT8 and then go back into sideband again and exit. Okay, so if you want to get into here, you're going to have your menu here, your setup. That is your main menu. All right, you have your RDS time, your FM band starts at 64 megahertz. Let's see, roll through here. You're going to choose your ITU region. There's next. Frequency digit backlight. I'm going to turn that off actually because it's kind of annoying. Uh, highlight the frequencies in SSB and the color. 24 hour time mat. Uh, you can do a retro S meter. This is kind of cool. Let me see if I can show you this. Yes. Then we'll go back to it. So you can do an old fashioned kind of S meter there too. Okay. Let's go back into setup again and get rid of that. All right. Next. Next. That you can do. This is all your retro scales for if you want to, you know, the retro, uh, the retro, uh, you can do a retro face on this. It looks like one of the old fashioned shortwave radios with the, you know, the band, maritime band and this band and that band. Really kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. I want to find the uh, Wi Fi stuff. It, it, there's quite an extensive list in here. You can scroll through it this way too. There, wireless on. Now, when the wireless is on, you're going to have to enter your password for your Wi Fi router. And uh, you'll be able to do that through select access point. And that will allow you to use some of the digital stuff where the timing on your radio has to be perfectly synchronized. Okay. So that's pretty much it. There's a ton of different configurations in this. And I think it'll definitely keep you, keep you busy and keep you interested in uh, listening to shortwave as well as being able to have a good AM FM radio. I want to show you the FM band here really quickly. Let me set it up back on FM and uh, we'll show you what that sounds like because that I can actually give you a good display of because that will work in here. Then we'll take it over to the bench and put it on a real antenna and see what we can pull in even during this massive solar storm. We've got uh, NPR here. I do that so I don't get any copyright strikes because even a second of music will get you and it's FM so it's our FM talk station. So you can see the waterfall how it works. So let's get this over to the bench. Let's hook it up to a uh, antenna and uh, see how well this works on uh, on uh, shortwave bands and on the ham bands. So just to start out, now what I did was this has a BNC connector on the back of it. So I have a BNC adapter that goes to the back of the radio that allows me to connect a PL259 connector to it. Um, you can't see that yet. I'll show you around the radio after we're done. We're picking up some hams here. Um, sounds like it's coming out of Mexico because they're speaking Spanish. Um, on the lower band, sometimes you'll hear that. So let's scan around a little bit. I want to show you it's set up in its natural environment here. Let's scan around a little bit and see if I can find anything really cool. And then we're going to try the FT8 digital mode and see how that Okay, works. so the minute I start the video, the guy with the 10 watts is talking and the other guys that were booming in are off. But we're picking up hands all over the band. So this uh, solar storm that's hitting us probably isn't hitting us too hard. But it does seem to be working. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. There we go. So, let's keep scanning around. So we got a net going on 20 meters here. Definitely coming in nice and clear. All right, let's try a little uh, FT8 and see what it looks like as it decodes it down at the bottom here. All right, so I gave you a couple more examples there before we got to uh, the FT8 part of the band here. Now what I'm going to do is go to mode, okay? I'm going to check, check digital, okay? And hit FT8. And there we go. Let's see if we hear anything and if it decodes anything. So I had to go 20 meters to find some FT8 because there was absolutely nothing going on on uh, 40 meters. So we have it running. It's playing in the background. You can hear it. And we're going to see what this decodes. Give it a few minutes to pull in some stations and see what we can hear. All right. So they're starting to come in here. I have K7IOC. And another one down there. I can't read it from here. I'm kind of a distance away from the radio, so it's hard to read. 
but you see how they're starting to pop in and this has another neat feature with it too using a USB to USB a USB-C to USB-C you can do a serial out on this and there you go there's some more stuff popping in and you can run it to your tablet and using another program that's basically a terminal you can actually receive this data on your tablet from this this does have Bluetooth in it as well but I don't believe it does the data transfer over Bluetooth so as you can see, it's decoding data pretty well. Hey, before we went back, I did want to show you this really quick. You can change your, your meter down here from a waterfall, spectrum, S meter, like a LCD S meter. And there you go, back to that. So that is kind of cool. So let me get this back up on the table, and now we'll finish up the video. So what do I think of it? Well, I'm actually impressed with it. It actually is uh, working very well. It is pulling in stations that, you know, even during the solar storm, I couldn't pull in on, uh, on uh, the other radio, the ATS-25. I'm going to give you a quick look around to show you what's on here, because you'll notice it has two antennas. And as we mentioned before, let's back up the camera. It has one antenna for Wi-Fi that's going to connect to your Wi-Fi and give you your accurate time. Another antenna for AM, FM, shortwave, whatever. It does have an interesting feature on the back here. This is your USB charge and download. You will be doing that for data as well as upgrading your firmware as well as just charging it. Your power on and off button, a phono head jack there, and your antenna here. Now you'll notice the connector of a switch near the antenna. It will say auto, FM, or SSB, LDW, and shortwave. So all the rest, FM or auto. I just keep it on auto. It will automatically use this antenna jack for whatever you have on the front of the radio. Uh, the headphone actually works pretty well. The stereo sounds really, really good on it. Of course, can't demo that on, uh, on here. But as far as connecting it to Wi-Fi, it was very simple. Uh, it's just an AM, FM radio that you're going to be using around in your shop with uh, the ability to pull in some shortwave in an emergency or to listen to uh, ham bands in an emergency, whatever. I think it's a really good gear. Now, it's definitely not bug out sized. Um, this is the exact same size, so I can show you for reference. Um, you know, it's, it's a bigger radio. It's definitely a bigger radio. It's not size where you're going to toss it in your backpack and, and run out of town. But, you know, it might be good in a car kit or something like that, as long as you keep an eye on a battery, keep it topped off and charged up. And I really like it so far. I think they've done a really good job in upgrading this and improving it. If you guys remember, years ago, I did the ATS-20, which was this little OLED screen. Uh, and that thing was very sensitive to noise and uh, interference. This thing is actually pretty good. Uh, it was kind of getting a little bit annoyed by the lights up top there. So I had to move it over to the table. Once I put it on that antenna, it was flawless. Worked perfectly. So I'm really impressed with it. Now the price on these, they're a little more expensive than the older ones. These are $155. Okay. However... Amazon on this site where this radio will be, where I'll give you your link to, does have a 5% coupon. That's Amazon's coupon, not mine. You tick it under the, you tick the little box underneath the, uh, underneath the price there, and you can use that 5% coupon. So you'll save a little bit of money on it. But I think if you're a serious shortwave listener and you want something as maybe a backup or a secondary uh, unit, this thing is awesome. Um, I mean, it has all the features, even the waterfall, which you can't see now because I have it muted, but even the waterfall display on it. Um, the ability to connect to uh, Wi-Fi, upgrade your firmware, the ability to connect this sort of like a, a USB sort of serial-ish connection where you can connect this to a tablet and actually watch all your, your uh, calls come in on uh, FT8. Um, it kind of be cool. It doesn't do VHF, UHF, and it doesn't do airband. Kind of be cool if it would do it for APRS <laughs> if it did VHF. But all in all, I'm very impressed with it. The screen is very responsive. You saw even when I was using my fingernail. I mean, it's very responsive, works very, very well. And uh, it works pretty darn good for something that is so small. Who would ever think you'd get a full-featured uh, shortwave radio in a package that size? <laughs> so, battery lasts very, very long. Uh, one of the cool things about the battery is it's a 4,000 milliamp hour large capacity lithium battery. Um, I've had this since I got it. Okay, I got it. I charged it up. It's still at 81%. And trust me, last night I was listening to this thing like crazy because I wanted to learn it better. And I also wanted to play with it and see how well it worked. So I'm very impressed with it. Anyway, that is the SI4732 ATS25 Max Decoder shortwave am and fm radio and if you're interested in getting yourself a decent shortwave to have you know around for emergencies toss it in a faraday bag if emp is one of your concerns and it's ready to go i would take it out and charge it every few months just to make sure it's topped off but definitely a cool little radio 
Um, I'm going to be trying to set this up outside. I'd like to do a follow-up in, in about a month or so. Set it up outside, maybe somewhere, and uh, throw up one of my homemade uh, J-poles and see how well it works. Right now, when we saw before, it was on a N-fed uh, one two one nine un un antenna that isn't really tuned for a specific frequency. It's made pretty pretty broadbanded, so uh, worked pretty well on that. As you can see, it also pulled in a couple of AM stations in the daytime. Not good enough to show you, but you could tell there was a station there, which is a miracle for out here. Anyway, folks, links down below for this. You can check it out. It does have a five percent coupon on Amazon for that. Okay. And you can check out all our other links. I will have this in my affiliate store as well. So you can check the affiliate store. If there's nothing in there you want, just bookmark that link and choose it to shop when you shop on Amazon. You just search on top there instead of going buying anything in my store. Below that is our freeze-dried wholesalers link, okay? That link's going to save you 15% on anything you buy on the website, okay? So freeze-dried wholesaler food, awesome, clean, good food. And it's 15% off using my link. No codes, no nothing. Just use the link. Below that, my Patriot Supply. You guys saw the other day, they're having an awesome sale right now on that uh, sample kit, the 72-hour sample kit. Definitely a good deal, 28 bucks for you know 72 hours worth of food. Can't beat that. And of course, our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. I thank you guys for hanging out with me today and testing out this radio, and there will be a follow-up. I want to take it outside and set up a, a, a you know like one of my little homemade dipole antennas and see how well I can pull stuff in, do a little more shortwave listening. Right now, we've got this solar storm going, so... Conditions are kind of rough. I can't even pull in WWV on this. And normally I can do that with a little handheld. So <laughs> conditions are a little rough right now. But I did want to give you a little heads up on this and show you what it's all about and let you know it's out there and it's a new upgraded version and it's a great improvement from the older ATS-25. So I thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.